Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this super cute princess in a simple way. I hope you'll love this tutorial and let's get started. These are the materials you're gonna need and these are the crochet abbreviations. Now we're gonna start making the hat. First you have to make a magic ring. Make six single crochet in the magic ring. After that, pull the yarn tightly and mark the last stitch with the stitch marker. Now we're gonna start round two. For round two, you have to make an increase in all the stitches. Make one single crochet into the first stitch and make another single crochet into the same stitch. That's one increase. You have to repeat this for five more times. Now we're gonna start round three. For round three, first you have to make one single crochet. After that, you have to make one single crochet increase in another stitch. Repeat this for five more times. For round four, first make one single crochet. After that, make one single crochet increase in another stitch. After that, make one single crochet in another stitch and repeat this for five more times. For round five, first you have to make three single crochet. After that, you have to make one single crochet increase. And repeat this for five more times. From round six to round eight, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch, and there must be 30 single crochet in each round. Now we have reached round nine. For round nine, first you have to make nine single crochet. After making 9 single crochet, you have to make 1 increase. After making 1 increase, you have to make 1 single crochet and 1 increase in another stitch. So you have to repeat that 1 single crochet, 1 increase for 4 more times. After making that, you will be left with 10 stitches. So you have to make one single crochet in each of these stitches until you reach the end. And that will be the end of round 9. From round 10 to round 11, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch and there must be 36 single crochet in each round. Now we're gonna make round 12. First you have to make 4 single crochet. After making 4 single crochet, you have to make 1 decrease. And repeat this pattern for 5 more times. For round 13, first you have to make 3 single crochet. After that, you have to make 1 decrease. And repeat this pattern for 5 more times. For round 14, first you have to make one single crochet. 
and make one single crochet decrease. And make one single crochet in another stitch. So repeat this pattern for five more times and round 15 is also similar. So read the pattern carefully and make round 14 and round 15. You can also start filling the hat. This is how it looks like after round 15. Step the hat carefully so that the doll will have a chubby face, just like mine. Now we're gonna start round 16. First, you have to make 4 single crochet. After making 4 single crochet, you have to make 1 decrease and repeat this pattern for one more time. Now we're gonna make round 17. For round 17, you have to make 1 single crochet in each stitch and there must be 10 stitches in total. So we're making the neck and the shoulders part. For round 18, you have to make one single crochet increase in all the stitches. And round 19 is also very similar to what we did when we started making the hat. So read the pattern carefully and make these rounds. Now I'm making the last stitch of round 19. Before you finish the last stitch of round 19, you have to change the color to the blue. Wrap the yarn just like that and pull the blue yarn. That's how we change the colors. Now we can start making the round 20. For round 20, you only have to crochet in the back loops. So insert your hook, just like I'm doing right now, into the back loop only and make one single crochet. For this round, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch in back loop only. And there must be 30 single crochet in total. Now we're gonna make round 21. First, you have to make eight single crochet. After making eight single crochet, you have to make three single crochet increase. Increase in the first stitch and make an increase in another stitch and make an increase in another stitch. That's three increase. After that, you have to make 10 single crochet, three single crochet increase again, and six single crochet, just like in the pattern above. For round 22 and round 23, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch, and there must be 36 single crochet in total. This is how it looks like after round 23. We're gonna make round 24. First, you have to make four single crochet. After that, make one decrease and you have to repeat that pattern for five more times. 
Now we're gonna make round 25. First, you have to make nine single crochet. After making nine single crochet, you have to make one decrease. So just like that, read the pattern above and continue round 25 until the end. After round 25, cut the yarn and weave in the ends just like I'm showing you right now. Take a piece of blue yarn and we're gonna close the body by sewing the two sides together. Do not forget to stab the body while sewing it. This is how our doll body looks like. Now we're gonna make the collar of the dress using a different shade of blue yarn on the front loops of round 20. Insert your hook in the middle, just like I'm showing you right now. And grab your blue yarn. First, you have to make two chains. And make one half double crochet into the same stitch that you inserted your hook. Make another half double crochet in another stitch. So you have to make one half double crochet in each stitch until you reach the starting point again. After you're finished, cut the yarn and weave in the ends just like I'm showing right now. Now we're gonna make the ears. Use the skin color and first make the magic ring. In the magic ring, you have to make four single crochet.
After making forcing a crochet, pull the yarn tightly and cut the yarn leaving a long tail to sew on the hat. Now we're gonna make the eyes. You have to place the eyes on round 9 with 5 stitches apart between 2 eyes. I used 6 millimeter eyes. Count the 4th stitch behind the eyes and that's the place where you have to sew your ears. Using the two strands of white yarn, we will make the snowflakes patterns on the body, just like I'm showing you right now. Now we're gonna make the hair using the white yarn. First you have to make a magic ring and make 7 single crochet in the magic ring. For round 2, you have to make one increase in all the stitches. For round 3, first you have to make one single crochet. Make one single crochet increase in another stitch and repeat this pattern for 6 more times. For round 4, first make one single crochet. Make one single crochet increase in another stitch. Make one single crochet in another stitch and repeat this pattern for six more times. For round five, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch and there must be 28 single crochet in total. We're gonna make round 6, which is slightly different from other rounds. Remove your stitch marker. Instead of going into the next stitch, we're gonna make chain 1 and turn your piece. We're gonna crochet backward. Make one single crochet into each stitch until we get 20 single crochet in total for this round.
Now we have made 20 single crochet. There will be 8 stitches left in the middle just like that. So for round 7 to round 9, it's similar to what we did in round 6. At the end of each round, chain 1, turn your piece, and make 1 single crochet into each stitch. There must be 20 single crochet in each row. This is how it looks like after round 9. We're gonna make round 10. Make a chain 1, turn your piece, and you have to make 1 decrease. After that, make 16 single crochet. After making 16 single crochet, you have to make 1 decrease in last 2 stitches. Round 11 and round 12 are very similar to what we did in the previous rounds. So read the pattern above carefully and make these rounds. This is how it looks like after round 12. Now we're gonna make the last round. First, you have to make 24 chains. After that, on the second chain from the hook, make one slip stitch. Make one slip stitch in another chain. So you have to make one slip stitch in each chain until you reach the end and there must be 23 slip stitch in total. When you have reached the end, turn your piece and make one single crochet into the first stitch. After that, make 24 chains and 23 slip stitch just like we did previously. When you are finished making this, do not single crochet just like we did in the first strand of hair. You have to make 24 chains again and make 23 slip stitch. When you are finished making the third strand, make one single crochet into the second stitch. That's how you do the strands of hair and you have to make one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the end. Place your hair wig just like that and you can either sew or glue the hair wig onto the hat. Now we're going to make the front hair. For the first strand of hair, 
make a slip knot and make 19 chains. After that, in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. Make one half double crochet in another chain. And just like that, you have to make four more half double crochet in the next chains. After that, skip one chain and make one slip stitch into the next chain. Now we are finished making the fast strand of hair. The second strand of hair is also very similar. First you have to make 12 chains. In the second chain from the hook, you have to make one single crochet. After that, you have to make one half double crochet into each chain until you reach the end. When you reach the end, skip one chain and make one slip stitch into the next chain. So just like that, make another 4 strands of hair by reading the pattern above. When you are finished, make chain 1 and cut the yarn leaving a long tail. After that, Position your hair using the pins on the hat, just like I'm showing you right now. First, we're gonna sew the ends using the long tail that we left at the end. For the strands of hair, I'm gonna use the glue. Place the glue on top of the strands and leave it dry. Make a braid by using the three strands that we made using a slip stitch and tie the ends using a white yarn.
Now we are finished making our tiny princess. I hope you all loved this tutorial, and please subscribe my YouTube channel to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video, and see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.